you know, uh, four unbeaten, it's obviously a, a nice start to the season. Uh, confidence must be high at the moment. It is now once you've won a game, isn't it? It's fine lines. It's fine lines. We've lost one game in the league through a penalty it should never have been given. But uh, we've still got to win games. Uh, we managed to get over the line in, in the last league game, so we're happy about that. Now we just want to go on and, um, and we've got a really difficult game down at Alawa. Um, so we need to go down and get a result. I'll, I'll just touch very briefly on other issues. I hope you don't mind. Okay, no, okay. Just in terms of just how people are sort of focused now, that things have eased up, the pressure's out with the, the, the stadium, have, have uh, improved hugely, obviously. So how much of a difference does that make to, to morale and so on? I think it does. Um, obviously, we try, you try to focus on the football as much as you possibly can, but you do hear the outside noise, don't you? And I think um, that looks like it's stabilised. So um, that's good that uh, uh, Alan Savage has come in and he's stabilised the club in that respect. So I think we're all happy about that. Now obviously we're going to just try and focus on uh, to get results for the fans, really. Okay. Uh, it's a really tough one this weekend. It's tough. Uh, they're un un undefeated, aren't they? It's away from home. It's on a plastic pitch. They've, they've come off the back of a great result in a cup against Partick. So it's not going to be easy, um, but we've managed to get one or two players back for injury, which will sort of help us a bit and all, all, all boosters. What's the full story in terms of fitness and so on? We've got Longstaff back, we've got Jack Newman's back in the squad. He's had an injection, he's come back, he feels not too bad. He's trained this morning for the first time. And I've had Keith Bray back in as well for the last couple of days. They'll go into the squad and, um, and they'll be available for selection on Saturday. Just on, on Jack Newman, it's um, a good problem you've got, isn't it, to have him potentially back with Musa having three clean sheets and performing so well? I think the goalkeepers came in, uh, Musa's done uh, fantastically well. Uh, we've got two really good keep goalkeepers on the books and we've got a young one backing them up. It's a good um, headache for the goalkeeping coach. I'll leave it to him. Yeah, that's it. And, um, you know, uh, the form, the, the team are creating so many chances, you haven't been outclassed in, in any game and you, you think. You feel week by week they're, they're, they're finding their feet in this in this league? Yes, I mean, it's scoring goals, isn't it? That's been a, a wee bit of a, a difficult for us, uh, probably for the last six months type of thing. But we've certainly kept a lot of good uh, clean sheets and we've defensively been fantastic for the last year, I would say. Um, and obviously getting three goals in the last game, although it was in the cup, it gives you a wee bit of confidence, doesn't it? Um, so, yeah, it's, it's st sticking the ball in the net. I keep on saying it's the hardest part of football. We managed to do it in the last game, um, and hopefully we can go down to Alloa and, and, you know, and get a positive result. I was just saying to Remy Savage, you've got players at the back who can play in various positions along the back line, but the same applies to the midfield, and we saw that with Adam McKinnon at the weekend, starting on the left, then he was over the right. You know. Yeah, yeah, the adaptability is good. Um, we've changed our tactical setup. We went from three centre backs to two centre backs, and we changed it back. I've changed it in, in game as well. I've changed the players' positions. Try to come up with solutions as you've got to do as a manager to get results. The players have been adaptable, as you said. I played Adam on the side in the last game, and he, he played in the pocket well. Got the half turn and created the first goal, scored the goal. Um, so yeah, the players are quite adaptable. Um, so it's good for me, isn't it? In terms of their mindset, Duncan, you know, they were they were young lads. Some of them might have expected to be released at the end of last season. They're now in the thick of it. Have they grown up quite fast, do you think? Or I think they start, are, I start certain, to grow you up? You certainly have to grow up, don't you? Yeah. Very quickly. You're in, the, you're in the man's game type of thing. They come for youth football, a lot of them. Yeah. Um, the young uns. So, you know, you're in the, you're in the, you know, with, the with the men now. And it's, um, physically, it's demanding. Mentally, it's demanding. And, uh, you know, they're getting their chance, aren't they? Aye. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure they've grown up very quickly.